first problem if f max to 1 to infinity to 1 to infinity is defined by f of x is equal to 1 plus under root of 1 plus 4 log x base 2 by 2 then f inverse 3 is equal to dash here is given f of x is equal to 1 plus under root of 1 plus 4 log x base 2 whole by 2 this is taken as y therefore y is equal to 1 plus under root of 1 plus 4 log x base 2 by 2 so this is 2 into y 2y is equal to 1 plus under root of 1 plus 4 log x base 2 so take 1 this side 2y minus 1 is equal to under root of 1 plus 4 log x base 2 so squaring on both sides squaring on both sides 2y minus 1 whole square is equal to 1 plus 4 log x base 2 so this is written as 2y minus 1 whole square minus 1 is equal to 4 log x base 2 therefore log x base 2 is equal to 2y minus 1 whole square minus 1 by 4 therefore x is equal to 2y minus 1 whole square that is 2 to the power of 2y minus 1 whole square minus 1 by 4 therefore f inverse of x is equal to 2 to the power of this is 2y minus 1 whole square that is 4y square minus 4y plus 1 minus 1 by 4 here is 1 1 cancel that is equal to 2 to the power of 4 into y square minus y by 4 4 4 cancel that is equal to 2 to the power of y square minus y f inverse of x is equal to 2 to the power of x square minus x here is asking f inverse 3 therefore f inverse of 3 is equal to substituting 3 in place of x 2 to the power of 3 square minus 3 that is 3 square is 9 minus 3 that is equal to 2 to the power of 6 therefore f inverse of 3 is equal to 2 power 6 that is 64 that is the answer second question the following system of equations x plus y plus z is equal to 9 2x plus 5y plus 7z is equal to 52 and x plus 7y plus 11z is equal to 77 as first answer no solution second one exactly two solutions third one only one solution and fourth one infinitely many solutions first we find the value of delta from the Kramers method this delta is written as coefficients of x y z is 1 comma 1 comma 1 and second equation 2 5 7 and 1 7 11. This total value is equal to 0. Now we find the value of delta 1. Delta 1 is equal to 9, 1, 1. Next 52, 5, 7. 77, 7, 11. This value is also equal to 0. Now we find the value of delta 2. That is equal to 1, 2, 1. 9, 52, 77. 1, 7, 11. This value is also equal to 0. Now we find the value of delta 3. That is equal to 1, 2, 1. 1, 5, 7. 9, 52, 77. This value is equal to 0. All values delta, delta 1, delta 2, delta 3 are 0. So the given equation has no solution. No solution. That is first option is correct answer. That is third problem. The points in the organ plane given by Z1 is equal to minus 3 plus 5y and Z2 is equal to minus 1 plus 6i and Z3 is equal to minus 2 plus 8i and z4 is equal to minus 4 plus 7i form a dash 
So here is given given Z1, Z2, Z3, Z4 points is given. First we find the value of modulus of Z1 minus Z2. That is equal to modulus of Z1 is minus 3 plus 5i minus Z2. That is plus 1 minus 6i. That is equal to minus 3 plus 1 minus 2. 5i minus 6i. That is equal to i. That is modulus. That is modulus means under root of 4 plus 1 that is equal to root 5. Next to find the value of z2 minus z3. z2 is minus 1 plus 6i minus z3 that is plus 2 minus 8i that is equal to minus 1 plus 2 1 6i minus 8i that is 2i. Modulus is equal to under root of 1 plus 4 that is equal to root 5 and find the value of z3 minus z4 z3 minus z4 modulus of minus 2 plus 8i plus 4 minus 7i that is equal to 4 minus 2 is 2 8i minus 7i is 1 that is equal to under root of 4 plus 1 is equal to root 5 and lastly, find the value of Z4 minus Z1 that is equal to minus 4 plus 7i minus plus 3 minus 5i that is equal to minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1 minus plus 2i. Modulus of this value is under root of 1 plus 4 that is equal to root 5. And we find the value of modulus of Z1 minus Z3. That is Z1 is minus 3 plus 5i minus Z3 plus 2 minus 8i. That is equal to modulus of minus 3 plus 2 minus 1. 5i minus 8i minus 3i. That is equal to modulus of this value is 1 plus 9 is equal to root 10. And you find the value of Z2 minus Z4. That is equal to modulus of Z2 minus 1 plus 6i minus plus 4 minus 7i that is equal to 4 minus 1 is 3 6i minus 7i minus i mod less that is equal to 9 plus 1 is equal to root 10 here is all sides is root 5 root 5 root 5 and the diagonal is root 10 root 10 so on the given points forms a square this is the answer fourth problem when n is equal to 8 root 3 plus i whole power n plus root 3 minus i whole power n is equal to dash here is given root 3 plus i this value is equal to minus 2 omega i from complex numbers similarly root 3 minus i is equal to 2 omega square i. Here is given root 3 plus i whole to the power of n plus root 3 minus i whole power n. That is here is given the value of n is 8. This is root 3 plus i whole to the power of 8 plus root 3 minus i whole to the power of 8. That is equal to root 3 plus i value is minus 2 omega i plus over to the power of 8 plus root 3 minus i is 2 omega square i over to the power of 8 that is minus whole power 8 is plus 2 power 8 omega power 8 into i to the power of 8 2 to the power of 8 omega power 2 into 8 16 into i to the power of 8 here i power 8 value is 1 here is i power 8 value is 1 that is 2 power 8 comma omega power 8 plus omega power 16 that is equal to 2 power 8 into omega power 8 is written as omega power 6 into omega square and omega power 16 is written as omega power 15 into omega so that is 2 power 8 into omega power 6 is 1 and omega power 15 value is 1 that is omega square plus omega that is equal to 2 power 8 into the value of omega square plus omega is minus 1 that is equal to minus 2 to the power of 8. That is equal to minus 256. This is the answer.
if x is equal to sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity cos power 2n theta and y is equal to n is equal to 0 to infinity sin power 2n theta and z is equal to n is equal to 0 to infinity cos power 2n theta into sin power 2n theta where 0 less than theta less than pi by 2 then the relation is dash here is given x is equal to sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity cos power 2n theta this is the infinite gp so this is written as infinite gp 1 by 1 minus cos square theta that is 1 by sin square theta similarly the value of y is given sigma n is equal to 0 to infinity sin power 2n theta this is also infinite gp this is written as 1 by 1 minus sin square theta that is 1 by cos square theta and the value of z is given n is equal to 0 to infinity cos power 2n theta sin power 2n theta this is also infinite gp this is written as 1 by 1 minus cos square theta into sin square theta from this equation sin square theta is equal to 1 by x from this equation cos square theta is equal to 1 by y substituting these two values in this equation z is equal to 1 by 1 minus 1 by xy that is equal to xy by xy minus 1 take cross multiplication xyz minus z is equal to xy this is the one relation and here is given sin square theta and cos square theta that is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 that is 1 by x plus 1 by y is equal to 1 take LCM x plus y is equal to xy substituting this value in this equation here is xy is written as x plus y into z minus z is equal to xy that is xz plus yz minus z is equal to xy so this is xz plus yz is equal to xy plus z that is the answer